Okay, Mackenzie is back. Uh, you guys enter the embassy. You're almost immediately flagged down by one of the stewards in the main hall there. Uh, you had a reservation with King Gabriel, correct? Yes, indeed. And they uh, guide you back to the embassy meeting hall, which is where you're at here. Uh, and one of the stewards just kind of takes you in. Um, they're like, he's just finishing up dinner right now. Um, uh, well, not, uh, not finishing up. He's finishing up his meet, his pre-meeting dinner, uh, or pre, pre-dinner meeting. The words, yeah. fucking <laughs> words, I can say them. Um, uh, Did he'll, Avery he'll see us on the horse? Uh, what? Did Avery see us ride up on the fucking horse? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, the whole station saw this. <laughs> Um, and yeah, you kind of see, uh, as you, you guys can go ahead and place yourself by the entrance, you see these guys, uh, Fable, which you recognize, and, uh, one very decorated guard, which I'm assuming you, you would all assume to be Admiral Willamander just by his, uh, the decorations on his full plate armor. Uh, they seem to be standing getting up. Uh, also, the Eric Cochran at the table is also standing and starting to get up. Uh, and King Gabriel motions over to you like, ah, perfect timing. Perfect timing. We were just finishing up here. Um, go ahead and take a seat. Dinner will be out shortly. Um, and then he seems to whisper something to Fable there. Uh, the Eric Cochran just kind of takes its leave. He walks by you, kind of giving you a little bit of a stare there as he walks out. And uh, the Admiral just walks by, he's like, good day to you. And he also walks on out. Uh, then Fable also seems to exit into the interior there. Uh, and a couple of servants come out and just absolutely coat this fucking table in all sorts of different food and desserts. <laughs> um, and King Gabriel's like, eat, eat to your heart's content. Uh, before we start eating, I'm going to oh, we lost uh, cautiously approach King Gabriel and, like... Kill him. No. <laughs> <laughs> Get right to it. Wouldn't that be fucking crazy? Uh, okay, so, Neko, back. yeah. You were gonna say something. You were approaching King Gabriel? Mm-hmm. Um, bowing very uh, respectfully. Really I'm sorry, what was that? Austin? Austin? I uh, just Austin. made a joke about kill someone. Okay, great. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> it like, it phased out there for a second. Um, I'm going to present him with Hot Pot's little treat and say that our small green friend could not join us this evening. Ah, well, what a lovely little parting gift. Um, uh, appreciate it. I appreciate mm -hmm. him uh, sending the note forward. So it'll just be you four then. Duh. Yes. All right. Um, and then I'm going to go sit across the table directly across from him. <laughs> power move. Real, yeah, real power move. That's good. I like that. Um. Okay. Uh, as he sits you down, or as you guys kind of all finally take your seats, um, he starts kind of like casually digging into his like fucking overly sized steak dinner um and it's just like so i have another job for you this one is not as time sensitive as the last one um but it ha it comes with some pretty good uh perks so arriving at some point at the end of the day today should be should be coming in right right at the tail end right as soon as uh all the rest of the uh, other market ships have left um, is a gift for you from yours truly. Um, it's a it's a ship. I oh. have commissioned an interceptor just for you. Now it's a bit stripped down, bare bones, mind you. Uh, just the net guns right now. If you want any actual um, firepower, which I do recommend, but uh, you might have to go down to Davy Jones Locker and get a little bit of the accessories added on to that. Um, but you're going to need a ship because I'm going to have you um, 
rendezvous with another nest of wyverns. This particular nest is being tracked by one of our uh, lovely wyvern trackers. Um, he's very good at his job. He can kind of give you up-to-date uh, information on where the flock is at that time. So again, no significant time pressure as long as they stay within the sector, which they, they tend to hang around these sectors for a few days. Um, it is on, so these, these pods that they travel in uh, are on the back of sky whales. So you will have a bit of a interaction with one of those just be they are they're perfectly peaceful they're, it's a completely symbiotic relationship so don't just just don't piss it off and you should be fine um mm. there will be an alpha there almost certainly at the size of the flock um kudos if you want to bring it back but they are extremely territorial and vicious you might have to just end up fighting it i'm not i'm not going to penalize you for killing that if needed um but if you do manage to bring one back, uh, that would be, I mean, unless you wanted to claim it for yourself, I would perfectly understand that. Um, but if you wanted to sell it back to the kingdom, that would be... <laughs> uh, that, that would be perfectly understandable. Um, so, uh, without further ado, it, 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 my main suggestion would to be acquire a crew. I'm not going to... I. You could always talk with Admiral Willamanda down at the dockside to assemble your own uh, crew from the Southern Kingdom Guardsmen, but he that might uh, take a little convincing. He's he's not particularly great with the uh, Wyvern catching himself, um, and some of his, some of his crewmen are not super trained for that. But again, they're they're always there as a backup, just in case you can't find a crew. But of course. I think you're familiar with Good Chances Bar. Lots of different crews down there are available. Um, Never heard of it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Uh, so that's the job. And again, it will be the same uh, payment as last time. 500 per Wyvern brought to me. Um, and again, the, the ship is coming with full Wyvern storage capabilities, and again, the full net cannons, as you see on the Alcatraz. No, this is definitely not as big of a ship as the Alcatraz, but uh, it should do you just fine. Uh, any any questions for me? I have planned my whole life for this moment. <laughs> And by my whole life, I mean since we started this part of the campaign. Yeah, the past 12, 15 minutes, something like that. <laughs> yeah. I, I have really no quite cut this dry. Yeah. Also, again, sorry for the general lack of energy. I am running on three hours of sleep right now. <laughs> so. Delicious. Wonderful. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> I am I am oh. powered by the will of D and D alone. <laughs> Can I see if there's anything else in this room worth noticing? Ah, uh, yeah. Go ahead and roll a perception check. You mean steel? Oh Jesus! That's a twenty-five. Twenty-five. Uh, something Wait. I think would immediately 24? catch. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Uh, mm -hmm. I think something that would immediately catch your eye right over there is a wine rack filled with just the the what you know to be Tiberian's finest wines. Like those are those are creme de la creme, like top notch, top shelf shit over there. Probably like almost a thousand piece per bottle. Uh, and that's on the low side. Um, it's also just a really well decorated in here. Lots of heads, lots of heads of beasties mounted on all the walls. Uh, just of, of varying size. You're you're actually pretty sure that there is a adult male tabaxi among those heads. Um, what was that? Yeah, <laughs> one of the heads, probably in the far corner, looks to be of a very very uh, ringed out and jeweled up, but still mounted head of a tabaxi male. Um, and uh. You can't quite see far into these, but there looks to be uh, three distinct hallways behind him leading out if further into the embassy. The left one over here, uh, Fable, went down. Mm. 
Hmm. Other than that, it is a just a really well furnished uh, dining hall with a lot of like candle candelabra lighting. Does anybody else have anything they'd like to do? Stop saying mm. eating. I'm not going to wait until we eventually kill him. I want to do a vibe check to see if I too see what she sees. I would. I feel like uh, to Austin's point, I would have made some sort of visible like cue when I saw like my fucking like cl- like tabaxi head on the wall. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Just like, <laughs> yeah. Huh. <laughs> I want to roll an investigation to see if I see a dragonborn head. Uh, the good news that's I, just a straight roll. I did it anyway. Straight roll. A nine. That's uh, just a nine. You, you see what looks to be a, an actual dragon head, but you're pretty sure that's just a taxidermied fig. Um... So I'm gonna ask King Great Gabriel. I'm gonna look at all of the heads and be like, "Oh, you you're a hunter, huh?" Oh, oh yes. Those are just some of my uh, quarries from uh, during the expansion back at Typerion during the Deep Wilds. Did you uh, hunt all of these yourself? I, I'm sorry. There was a lot of breathing. What did you say? <laughs> Austin, I, have you put your microphone inside your nose? What's going on over there? <laughs> I wasn't yeah. even breathing, honestly. I don't know. There was like I a gust turned... of wind. Oh, I turned <laughs> off my uh, my thing, my fan, so I've been it. Mm. Um, also, my mic's being weird. <laughs> uh, your Your Majesty, did you hunt all of these fine specimens yourself? Uh, oh, uh, yes. Most of them were cut by the, this very blade, and he just fucking takes out this blade <laughs> that he carries with him everywhere because he's a little crazy, uh, and just kind of, like, shows this huge hey. long sword that he's got, and it does seem to be humming with some sort of energy. Like, yes, this is Lancelot. Of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> What's the color energy? Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Thank you. <laughs> of course. I mean, uh, I can't as... kill him right now, guys. I want no. everyone to know I really want to. <laughs> <laughs> you can't guard them. Yeah, they, they, we, there we are just definitely... have to leave immediately. <laughs> yeah, have to there go. are definitely guards on <laughs> the yeah. far side of the, the... There's no guards in the dining hall itself, but you can probably see like a couple of them shuffling through many of these hallways, and they were also directly outside. Uh, Also over here, uh, you see what looks to be a fairly older elven man enter. He just enters kind of abruptly, uh, just kind of almost bursts through the doors, and he shouts at King Gabriel, Those are not the conditions we discussed! And he just kind of starts immediately walking towards him. uh, Also following... (laughs) <laughs> uh, also followed by the cleric that you guys entered the uh, uh, plane of air with uh, granite burn sides. Uh, and he s- seems to be quickly following this man with a very concerned look on his face. Uh, he's like, Thorazin, let's uh, stop this. And then uh, King Gabriel also just stands up a little uh, kind of impatiently and is like, Thorazin? Must we do this now? And Thorzen is just kind of in a huff, walks up to him and is like, absolutely, we need to talk <laughs> right now. Um, and King Gabriel is just like, ah, so, so very sorry for the interruption. I, I need to handle this. Um, please feel free to finish up in a, of course you, you will uh, receive your payment for your job uh, upon completion and I'll see you then. Thorzen, let's go talk. And he moves into the far uh, left entrance there with Thorzen. And they seem to be 
just kind of standing almost in the doorway kind of talking like he's not even letting Thorzen just fully into there. Uh, Granite just kind of turns back to the uh, table area. It's just like, ah, ah, how, how are you guys doing? I'm worried about my horse. <laughs> oh, you got a, a horse? Yeah, he eats hearts. That's <laughs> imposing. <laughs> Can I, like, nonchalantly walk over here and try to hear what they're saying? Like, I'm looking at the alcohol, but I'm actually, like, listening to them. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and roll a perception check. I won't make you stealth yeah. or anything. That's perception. pretty cash. Mocha's gonna do that, too. <laughs> um, just real yeah, I figured quick. I would have, like, eyed you first. I'm like, hey, let's go. Yeah. yeah. Um, real quick, stop sign went to the king's chair and is finishing his steak. <laughs> yes <laughs> you just, you just take a, a seat right down and you just yeah the, there's like half a steak left so this is, this is gold right here I mean, it's on point for like a hyena right what i mean it's on point for a hyena right exactly scavenger <laughs> baby are you using the silverware or just like gnawing into this thing uh he has no time for tiny little swords <laughs> I'm gonna little play swords. Toys. Right. Mouth is swords. Toys. I'm gonna study soft sign while he does this. <laughs> study. <laughs> um, Avery and I got an 18 and a 17, respectively. 18 oh, yeah. and a 17, respectively. So you definitely are getting pieces of this conversation. Um, it sounds like. Thorazin is upset about a few things. Um, he does mention the Wyverns a lot. You don't get a lot of specifics about it. He just seems to be complaining uh, generally um, about their, their overall treatment. He's also complaining about uh, a lost diplomat, uh, as seems to be a friend of his that has just disappeared completely on the station. Uh, he seems to be very concerned, almost with a uh, accusatory tone towards King Gabriel, and you're just mostly hearing King Gabriel just kind of completely deflect almost everything that Thorzen has to say, honestly calling him paranoid almost directly to his face. Uh, those are the, the, the bits of the conversation okay. I'd say you pick up on. You said Thorzen was an elf? Yes, yeah, he is an older elf man. He kind of came in like a scraggly robe. He seems to have an old wooden... Uh, staff that he walks with. Have I met, have any of us met him yet? No, no, this would be your first time meeting Thorzen. Okay, if, if I see reason I want to introduce myself to him. Okay. Um, was there, did you say there was like a chest over here or something? Over where at, where you're at right By now? By the alcohol? Uh, just a big keg of what you can assume to be mead, and yeah, just a display case with these very fine Tiberian wines on them. Interesting. Um, is it locked? Uh, no, no, you could just pull them out. Hmm, that's no fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's too easy. <laughs> yeah. Um, before Avery left, did you, um, I pointed out the tabaxi head on the wall. I'm not leaving. I'm waiting for uh, him to leave the conversation so I can like walk up to him. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, then I'm pointing yeah. out the tabaxi head on the okay. wall. <laughs> because I'm, obvi I'm obviously pissed. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I'm going to turn to you and like as quietly as possibly, like, obviously, we have to do something about this. Mm. Right now is mm. not the time. <laughs> <I'm> like, or 